Hey everybody, Horst here again. Got some people wondering how you would deal with a fast marine banshee raven push from a Terran. Figured I would show you how I normally counter that. Uh, this guy I'm playing against, Eden, he, I think he was uh, 1800 diamond Terran, something like that. But what he does is pretty typical for most Terrans who do the fast poultry push. Uh, again, like all normal PVTs, I started off with a fancy uh, fast expand build. I do this for every PVT pretty much because it's very versatile. You can switch out of it to do pretty much anything and it's a very solid opener. Just harass him a little bit up here with my scout probe. But yeah, you can just get a gateway, a simulator, and after you make one zealot and two stalkers, you expand at around 30 supply. It's a very stable build, so if anyone tells you you can't do it because a 3 racks push will roll it over, you can hold off a 3 racks push with this. Don't believe anyone who says otherwise. But, once the second stalker is, or first stalker is out, you send it out to attack, and expand while you're building the second stalker. Now here you push against his wall, and what do you see? A bunker and marines. You don't see a tech lab either, so you know he's doing some kind of a tech build. It could be any kind of tech build. It could be a fast marine uh, marine drops. It could be a fast ghost. It could be a Thor rush, for all you know. In any case, you need a very fast robotics and two more gateways. So you have three gate and a robotics and an expansion very versatile, you transfer over your probes when you get a chance, get a second gas, again you just want to keep focusing on core units making stalker zealots a couple of centuries, and as soon as robotics finishes you want your observer really fast. Nothing out of the ordinary at this point, again I don't really know what he's doing yet, but at this point I'm not going to poke down. My observer is out. It'll go scout him to see what's going on with him. Now he is dropping me with Hellions. Just retreat all of your probes. Hopefully you won't lose that many. At this point I know he has a uh, 1-1-1 build going up. I know it's very likely that he has Banshee Marine Raven coming in. And he gets away. And transfer all the, some of those probes back after you hold it off. My scout observer does see the two port banshees. So I know what's coming at this point. It's going to be banshees, marines, and probably a raven. So in response to that, I will throw down a stargate real fast. And a templar archive, uh, twilight council real fast. Now, yeah, the raven there caused my observer to be shot down. Now the purpose of this building combination is you have one or two, maybe three phoenix to shoot down the banshees, and you have charge lots to clean up the marines on the ground. It's a very simple idea, but it works so much better than having stalkers or anything like that in the ground because the banshees can't fight back. The marines will just tear through all the, uh, the zealots will tear through all the marines, and the phoenix will just tear through the banshees. Stalkers actually, in a one-to-one -one ratio against banshees, will lose, so it's not a great idea to use them unless you have no other choice. Now I'm defending here and here so he doesn't get me with any more Hellion drops. I don't want to lose any more probes. I know he's on one base. And uh, this push from him is kind of an all-in. I have a probe down here so he can, I can tell when his push is coming. Just chrono boost these whenever you get the chance. I think I'm, yeah, chrono boosting on the ch uh, charge. Ideally you want charge to be finished by 11 minutes. That's when the pushes mostly move out. I'm a little behind here, but it shouldn't really affect me too much. Keep observers around in case he has Cloak Banshee Harass. Now here comes the uh, Hellions again. This signifies that his push should be coming very shortly because he's going to want to draw your army away from your front. Charge is almost on. I have two Phoenix at this point, so I can go shoot down that medevac. kind of revealing what I have, but it's not that big a deal. And put this to busy. 
And there comes the army, and charge finishes right now. Boom. All those marines are dead. And while these banshees work on clean cleaning up the marines, the phoenix will drain that point defense drone and then start work on the banshees themselves. There's really very little that the Terran can do to stop this. Now all these banshees are dead. He can't get them away from me because my uh, uh, phoenix are much faster. And he can't target fire probe. He can't attack move probes because I have stalkers there to uh, draw his fire when he attack moves. And of course he had it rallied to my base for reinforcements. If you look at units lost. It's almost doubly in my favor at this point. Just bowled right through. Now had he attacked down here, he might have done some more damage, but I would have pulled these probes back. He would have probably killed a couple and then still lost his entire army. So I don't think it would have done that much more damage. But here we go, counterattack time. Make sure he doesn't have an expansion. If he does, we'll kill it. Phoenix again, covering the air. Phoenix aren't overly useful in PvT most of the time. This is one of the few uses they have. This probably is a mistake to send my zealots out here to do all this, but it pulls his SCVs away so he can't mine. So his economy is dropping very quickly to almost nothing. And I figured to hell with this, let's go kill his SCVs at his expansion. Proxy pylons. Meanwhile, my expansion is going strong. I have additional gateways warping in so I can warp in more reinforcements down at this pylon. At this point, it's pretty much game over for him. Not really much he can do to stop me. He'll try a last ditch all in with uh, his SCVs, but it's not going to save him. Even if he beats me off here, I'm still going to have a uh, very strong economy. Well, he will not. At that point, it is a good game. So yeah, you can see how Phoenix's combined with charge lots is extremely effective against this unit combination, and you can get it out in time even with the fast expand. There's really no reason why you can't hold this push off, as long as you do the correct unit uh, counters, you should never have a problem. Thanks for watching, guys.